Hey guys, Mike here. Tonight we're going to discuss passive wind health measurement, a new feature that was brought on with 40 OS 7. So stay tuned. Alright guys, if you've paid any attention to the channel over the past few years, you've known that I'm a pretty big fan of link monitors and health checks in general. Now, I didn't really start using SD-WAN on a Fortinet device until 6.4 40OS came out, mainly because I felt like that's where it actually started making sense from a Fortinet hardware perspective. But anyways, in 40OS 7, there's been a ton of new features, some of which I've actually talked about being very excitable items for me. One of those is the new SD-WAN passive WAN health measurement capability. And there's a lot of different ways to describe it, but Fortinet actually does it best. So this is verbatim from their documentation. SD-WAN passive WAN health measurement determines the health check measurements using session information that is captured on firewall policies that have passive WAN health measurement enabled. Using passive WAN health measurement reduces the amount of configuration required and decreases the traffic that is produced by health check monitor probes that are in active mode. Active WAN measurement using a detection server also might not behave in the manner that traffic truly would through a firewall, right? By default, the FortiGates use active measurement. Um, you know, that's, that's a pretty decent paragraph talking about why they created it, but what, what does that mean in layman's terms? So, when you have a health monitor or a link monitor or a health check or whatever you want to call it configured on a FortiGate, used to prior to 40 OS 7 you were stuck in a situation where you had active probes that were using ping or DNS or something like that to reach out and make sure that an internet link is quote unquote up. It works very well but it does cause a little bit of overhead there is some configuration necessary and of course we all know that ping and various other um, traffic protocols are relatively lenient when it comes to whether or not it considers something up or down, right? I've seen ping work in situations where no other traffic could flow, whether it be because of routing issues or the way the sessions and things like that are done. So what makes passive WAN health measurement so awesome is the fact that it's actually using session data as it relates to the firewall policy you have it enabled on. Now why is that important? That means you're actually getting a true life representation of traffic flowing as your health check, not just a random ping or DNS lookup. This configuration method has less configuration as they mentioned, and it also enables you to have a real representation of what's going on with your firewall. So we're gonna dive into my home unit because it's the only one I have that actually uses SD-WAN in any fashion, and we're gonna take that and configure a standard passive WAN health measurement so that you can have um, a how-to and then, of course, if you have any questions, you can post them below in the comments. So, so this is my FortiGate at the house. And basically, you know, normally you create performance SLAs and things like that, right? <clears throat> now, you will notice in 40 OS 7, there is a new option here. And it takes away the server functionality. So, we're going to create our new passive check. Oh, they don't like dashes in there. So, we're going to create our passive health check, make it as descriptive as possible, and we're going to switch it to passive mode. Now, you can use this for all SD WAN members, or you can specify your actual um, participants. I'm going to use it for all in my case, and then we can, of course, configure. SLA targets, which we will say 25, 5, and 0 would be a good thing. So as you can see, I have my passive health check created. Now there's very important things that you can pay attention to here. One is packet loss is 0, 0, latency is 0 milliseconds, and jitter is 0 milliseconds. My internet connections are not that good. It's not showing any data because it hasn't been tied to a policy yet. That's the next step. My home network is divided up into several different VLANs. I have my main network, which is the Pruitt LAN. I have a guest network, which is wide open. If you can hop on that, you go out my secondary link, you can surf the internet, do as you please. 
And then I have my Internet of Things network that is specific for all the smart gadgets in my house. I know, being a security person, you almost expect us not to have an Alexa or something like that in your house. But I just don't care. I like the convenience of them. So I only have three policies that really mean anything to me. And the one of interest for this particular use case is the Pruitt Out. So that's ID2. So we load up the CLI. We do config firewall policy, just like you would. We do edit two. And as you can see, these are all the details related to this policy. There are some new features that were brought in in 40 OS 7, for instance, ZTNA status, which is specifically tied to zero trust network access. But the one that's of interest for this particular use case is the passive WAN health measurement. So we set passive WAN health measurement to enable. And one thing to note is when you enable this on a policy, it's going to turn off auto ASIC offload on that policy. Um, mainly because the passive measurement, as it says, is not supported by the MPU. So we set that, you do a git, and you now have little buddy enabled. You're good to go. Do next, do end, good to go. And policy is now doing some level of monitoring. And if we go back to our SD-WAN, look at our SLAs, you can now see that there's actually data there. Why is there only data there for one specific link? Well, that's because that's the only link flowing traffic for that policy. My AT&T fiber line is my primary line, but it's now actually showing details. So you can say, yeah, it's within the, it's within the parameters of this particular check. It's very, very easy to configure. It doesn't require you to do a whole lot. You just create a health check, set it to passive mode, name it, whatever you want to name it. I mean, you don't reference it in the actual firewall policy. And then you go through, you pick the firewall policy that's relevant to you and your situation. Maybe it's pertinent traffic or something that you really, really want to be able to monitor. And if it goes down, let it do its thing, right? You set that passive WAN measurement to enable on that policy. And you enjoy the benefits of having session-based health checking, which is really, really nice pretty much the best way to make sure that your traffic is behaving as intended. Because like I said, ping will work all day long and other stuff for some reason not be able to work right. For whatever reason has to do with the protocol and maybe the particular traffic that you're trying to flow. So um, hopefully they do enable the ability to have this type of WAN measurement able to be ASIC offloaded by default. Um, I assume that it's going to come later down the road. But anyways, very, very simple to configure, very, very awesome to do. And it just gives you a little bit more visibility into how your network's actually behaving. If you liked the video, do me a favor, hit thumbs up. If you absolutely hated it, hit the thumbs down. Let me know why. Let me know what you would like to see. Otherwise, I'm still working on a way to lab up the ZTNA, the Zero Trust Network Access um, configuration. That way we can dive in and actually show you some cool things there. And for those of you that don't know, ZTNA is the way to access internal resources without the need of SSL VPN or IPsec VPN. So cool stuff coming down the pipe. Otherwise, you guys have a wonderful day. Let me know if you need anything. Comment below your thoughts, concerns, etc., and we will go from there. I have more unboxing videos coming down the line. I have three more actually queued up. I'm going to try to alternate them those so you're still getting the how-tos as well as the unboxing. I certainly don't want to do too much of one thing. And uh, until next time, guys, you take care.